I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm joined today with Roberta Miller, Executive Director of the Cape Cod Art Association. And we are here today to talk about a very exciting conference coming up in September, Mastering Your Mark. Roberta, I'm so excited to talk to you about this conference. This is the first of its kind that you're producing. Yes. It has to do with visual artists. Let's first talk about the idea behind this conference. Oh, okay. Well, uh, as you know, Cape Cod Art Association has a photography center. And uh, several years ago, we started doing a, a photography conference um, because there was none like it on the Cape or in the area. And uh, it's been quite a success. We're now working on the third conference uh, for photographers. And we sat down one day and say, wait a minute, why don't we do it for artists? We, there's so many artists on the Cape. This would be a really fabulous educational experience for them. And it really is. The lineup that you have is amazing. I mean, an all-star lineup. Um, yes. We'll get into in a minute who your keynote speaker is, yes. which is very exciting. Yeah. Lots of local artists on hand to lead some of these really interesting demonstrations, hands-on, interactive classes and workshops right. which really makes it, it good for the conference as well. Right, exactly. Yeah, we're very excited about it and when people were asked they were flattered and uh, jumped at it right away so uh, we're thrilled to present this kind of lineup. Wonderful. Well let's dive right in. Okay. We have your keynote speaker Joe Mc... Ma uh, I'm going to let you say his name. <laughs> Joe McGurl. Joe McGurl uh, is a fabulous nationally known um, landscape painter, uh, very contemporary. Uh, he lives here on the Cape, but he uh, shows in galleries all over the United States. He's been in museums, um, and he is now known as one of the contemporary luminists in, in America. So Quite distinguished. Very distinguished, um, and his artwork is exceptional. Uh, so he's our keynote speaker. He's going to be talking about uh, the world of art um, and uh, sh have a slide presentation. I think it will be uh, really exciting. That will be during the uh, luncheon period. Sure, because we can say this, this 24 sessions with tips, techniques, and inspiration. Right. Lunch is provided. Right. And, exactly. then, and then the keynote right. um, talk as well. Hands-on activities all day, sketching with Selma Alden. <coughs> yeah, Selma is uh, a, just a natural born sketcher. She loves to draw. Anytime she's sitting in a waiting room or sitting in a lobby or uh, sitting in any interesting uh, location, she does a picture. So uh, she's quite well known and uh, she's gonna be sitting in, in uh, the conference in a, a designated area. We're going to hand out sketch paper and uh, pencils and uh, she's going to have some setups so that anytime someone wants to just sit down and relax and sketch something, it'll be right there for them. So that'll be a lot of fun. Fabulous. Let's talk a little bit about Julie Blinter. Julie uh, is, uh, was a uh, art director in a school system in Massachusetts, and when she moved to the Cape, she opened up her own gallery. Um, she's a prolific artist who is um, a wonderful watercolorist and oil painter, and uh, she's going to be doing a, um, a session, uh, a demo session uh, on painting uh, with a special kind of paper called Yupo paper that takes the absorption of the water a little really? differently. So it should be very interesting, yeah. And now Mary Richmond, Mary Richmond I know is a writer as well as a she is. painter and stuff. Yeah, she's well known for her uh, nature journals. Sure. Um, but the sketches that she puts with the journals are quite interesting and that's what she's going to um, concentrate on in her demo. Uh, so that should be uh, fun for actually artists of all media that should have a drawing background, so Certainly. it would be fun. A lot of fun. And now Odin Smith. Odin Smith, a well-known artist on the Cape. She teaches for the Art Association and all over. Um, and uh, she's going to be doing a 45-minute demonstration on the movement of water. She's going to paint an entire canvas in the 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, so I think that uh, it'll be fun to watch. She works in acrylics, typically. Uh, dries quickly, so uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun to watch her do it. And now we have Sean Cassidy. 
Yes, Sean, Sean uh, comes to us from Off Cape. He also teaches at the Art Association, but um, he uh, uh, has developed a technique which is really interesting. He puts maps and diagrams on the canvas as a background. Uh, and then he layers the paint on top of that. So that's the technique that he's going to show in his demo. This layer. Um, and I think it'll be, yeah, interesting. Very, very different. Very yeah. different. So, so much already. I know. <laughs> and are the conference, um, how many will an artist get to choose at any one time? Well, they could. Uh, they could go, there's four sessions. Okay. So they could go into you know, uh, one um, room to hear uh, you know what one thing but I think they can dash out and see the demos as well constantly yeah sure yeah because they'll be running all day long wonderful now Doris me is going to talk about mixed media class yeah she's the queen of mixed media as far <laughs> as I'm concerned uh, she does beautiful uh, work that she shows all over uh, she's been teaching uh, and and uh, working on collages all her life so I think hers will be really interesting to see and already our viewers can see that there is so much variety yeah exactly so much to choose from that's what we tried to do absolutely right. and including our next artist here John Clayton John with a palette knife yes. which I find so fascinating. John Clayton actually is a plein air painter he is always outside painting canvases but he does like to use palette knives so this is something that not every artist uses. so I, we thought this would be an interesting thing for them to learn about very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then, of course, Carl Lopes. Yes. Carl was the director of art at a Barnstable High School. He For recently, many years. Yeah, recently retired, but has not given up on his art career. He has his own studio now, and uh, he does amazing uh, pieces that are lacquered, shiny. Um, Lots of shapes to them, yes, layers, texture. Yes, very geometric, yes, and, and also very multicultural. So you will uh, see something quite unique with his demo. And then Jason Eldridge. Jason Eldridge is probably one of the youngest that's going to be at our conference. Um, he's a young man uh, married with children, but his art career has really taken off. And he does whimsical kinds of paintings of scenes on the Cape. Um, and uh, you basically could take one square of that painting and just enjoy that. Exactly. Uh, so uh, it's, it's very different kind of work. And sure. you know, we entitled his, How Does He Do It? it which is a good title. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, when you look at his work too, he paints, it's circular. Right. So a lot is going on, yes. but that seems exactly. to be, it's fascinating yeah. to me. So I do want to know, where, where does he <laughs> even start in that? Right. And again, we talked about um, your keynote speaker. Right. Joe is also going to be doing uh, two different uh, sessions as well as his keynote speech. So uh, people who have the opportunity to ask him questions. Um, and he's going to be talking about um, tech tips and techniques of plein air painting and also how to better your canvas. So I think it'll be a, a, a quite a draw. Perfect. Yeah. And now you have a national watercolor colorist, Andrew Kuzman. Andrew Kuzman uh, is from Plymouth. He has his own gallery in Plymouth, and uh, he has watercolor work all over. And he has just published a book, so he's going to be talking about people who influenced him during his career. Um, and he's also going to stay with us all day and sign Lovely. books. So I think that'll be uh, terrific. Absolutely. And Mary Moquin um, certainly has a, has a place out at one of the cottages right. out on Sandy, Sandy Neck, Neck Beach. Right. And her work, you see a lot of that. In right. Her she work. teaches for us at the Art Association, and is an extremely popular uh, oil painter. Uh, so we're very proud to have her. and. Uh, I think she'll have a popular session as well. Great. And then William Davis. Yeah, Bill Davis also is one of the luminaries. He's just a, a nationally known uh, uh, artist uh, who does oil painting. So I think his session will be very interesting as well. I think we need to videotape all your <laughs> sessions because that it's going to be, be hard to choose <laughs> which, which groups you go to. And Andrew Howard. Andrew is uh, one of our board members, actually, and he's a professor of art at Wheaton College. And he's going to be talking about the whole life cycle of a piece of art and what, what the concept is 
who you are as an artist. Um, and I think this will be really informative for people to really think about their whole career in general. Absolutely, and I think that leads us to business and art. So we, the, what I love about this conference is for the actual painting, physical techniques, and so on, but then what does it mean, and then how you turn it into a business. Exactly, so we're talking about uh, social media, how to promote yourself, uh, what judges look for, getting into a gallery, and then what happens, what's your responsibility. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about curating a show and how that works. Um, we're also going to be talking about what other things can you generate from your piece of original art that can help you uh, generate some uh, money. So Which I, I is think always good. Yeah, <laughs> de definitely. That's spectacular. So let's leave. It's just an amazing, packed full day. This takes place Saturday, September 24th, 2016, from 9 to 4 exactly. at the Resort and Conference Center. Let's let our viewers know how they can get information on signing up. It's because Absolutely. there's something exciting about being one of the first yes. 100 to the sign up. The first 100 to sell uh, and are entered into a drawing for an iPad. Uh, one of our um, sessions will be uh, all of the art apps that are available on iPad. So I think it'll be um, something, you know, really great to see and have. So um, you can go on to the Cape Cod Art Association .org okay. website, or you can put in masteringyourmark2016.org, awesome. uh, and that will bring you, or you can... Uh, call our office at 362-2909. Perfect. And uh, they'll tell you what to do. Wonderful, Roberta. I, this is so exciting. Thank you again for coming in to share Thank information. Thank you for having me. Uh, for Roberta Miller in talking about Mastering Your Mark coming up September 24th, 2016, I'm Melissa Chartrand wishing you an artful day.